Hi folks, welcome back to the Cannabis Corner. I'm your host, Kerry Burns. The third party uh, presidential candidate uh, debate uh, occurred the other night and it featured Gary Johnson, the uh, Libertarian candidate. It also had Jill Stein from the Green Party, Rocky Anderson from the Justice Party, and Virgil Good from the uh, Constitution Party. Now this was a, uh, a very good debate, much much more lively and much more entertaining than the uh, presidential debates. And one thing I thought that uh, came up during this debate that wasn't even mentioned or even brought up in the Romney and Obama debate was this issue on the war on drugs. Now the second question that came up during the night, uh, during the uh, third party debate, and this was held by the Free and Equal Vo uh, Vote uh, Committee, but uh, they asked, well, what are you going to do about the, this war on drugs? And Gary Johnson, I think uh, overall during this debate gave the the best performance and I loved his answer right off the bat. He said that he was going to legalize marijuana day one and that people who had been in prison or still currently in jail on a, any kind of type of drug charge like that were going to be immediately released and and issued a pardon. All uh, three, three of the four candidates that were running uh, in the third party ballot all favored uh, immediate legalization of marijuana and also an end to the drug war. Virgil Good of the Constitution Party was the only one who said he didn't favor legalization of marijuana nor ending the drug war. And I think he probably lost a lot of ground uh, when he admitted that because, uh, I mean, being from the Constitution Party, you'd think that somebody there would uh, tell him, you know, hey, how about the Constitution but, uh, and our right to choose? But apparently he didn't get the message. But overall, the uh, other three candidates uh, gave very sound reasons to why uh, marijuana should be legal or cannabis, however you want to call it, and that this drug war should end. And uh, Gary Anderson, like I said, the libertarian candidate, he came out very strong. He said that the drug war was stupid. He had smoked pot and alcohol both, and he could guarantee to anybody listening that pot was nowhere near as dangerous as alcohol, and it was ridiculous that people were going to jail for it, and that we, we have the most prisoners in, in any prison in, in the entire world. We have more in the United States and most of those are in there for some type of drug charge or another. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. Of course, that's what we've been preaching all along on the cannabis corner is how ridiculous this drug war has been and what a waste of money it was and all. And, and uh, Jill Stein went on to say that uh, she said that the only thing that was dangerous about cannabis was the illegality. That she had been a 25 year doctor and uh, she, she had unequivocally said that marijuana was safe and it is it's a safe herb we've all known that anybody that smoked it for any length of time they've known that it's been safe and that all of this drug war and everything they've been doing about it has all just been bogus as hell to keep their agendas going uh, the uh, Virgil Good though I tell you what he wasn't uh, gaining much ground and he tried to make the point that the drug that the uh, budget each year for the drug war was only 10 or 12 billion dollars but Virgil that's not even a drop in the bucket first of all the DEA budget alone uh, each year it exceeds 25 billion dollars but you've got that's just a, a small amount of money compared to what the D Department of Justice budget which exceeds 150 billion dollars a year and then you look at Homeland Security I mean we don't even put a price on the Homeland Security its budget so far out there and most of the work that Homeland Security is doing is on the border down in Mexico uh, trying to stamp out and catch people bringing marijuana across the border. So your 10 or 12, do 12 billion dollars that you say just a small fraction of the three or four trillion dollar budget that we have is really erroneously placed. And, and that's just a small fraction of it. Even, even when you add up the, the Department of Justice budget, which includes the Bureau of Prisons, all the law enforcement, the amount of money that's spent and, and the costs and and the burden on taxpayers and all that, that doesn't mean, that's just a small drop in the bucket to the amount of revenue that we're losing on the hemp industry. And both uh, Jill Stein, also Rocky Anderson from the Justice uh, Party, and also Gary, Gary Johnson all said that the hemp industry needs to be brought to full fruition, that, that it's foolish that we're letting this industry sit, sit by over some stupid law over cannabis. And of course, they, they all made the points about the private interests that are making money by keeping cannabis illegal and uh, of course these, this is information we've all known and it's just very refreshing to see candidates that are running for president 
that are actually talking about real issues and issues that really play a major part of what's going on with the problems out there in America today. And neither one of the main two candidates, Romney or Obama, even talked about the drug war, let alone the hemp industry or anything like that and how that would promote jobs and, and no, nothing. There was a small amount of mention about the drugs and the Fast and Furious campaign that was being run by Attorney General Holder and Obama. But uh, it, it, even that, they didn't even get into the, uh, the drug war itself and, and, and what it's cost this country and how, much, how, mu how many lives have been ruined for people going to jail just for cannabis and all. And, and like they said, we're, we're losing productive citizens over somebody that's just being arrested because of their own personal choice. And these, these are issues, of course, that we have tried to drive home quite a few times here during, on many of our videos for the Cannabis Corner. But overall, I thought this debate was extremely informative. It gave a, it, all of the candidates, I thought, were spot on about all of the issues, not only the drug war, but the economy and the, and the United States business and foreign lands and all these excessive military, this military industrial complex and all. I thought they were all right on the spot on the money, and they were all all talked about not delaying balancing the budget, not delaying, not this 10-year plan like Obama and Romney have of, of you know, limiting the deficit in the budget and all. They have a plan that they want to do it from the from the get-go. And this was this was what Ron Paul was preaching when he was campaigning on the Republican ticket. And so I want to salute all of the third-party candidates. I thought they all did an outstanding job. Uh, even though uh, I didn't agree totally with Mr. Good too much on his issue in his stand of not wanting to legalize marijuana or in the drug war, but he did make some other points on the economy and, and, a, and a few other things that were, were pertinent and, and in line with what the other candidates were saying. So, Mr. Good, I'm sorry you didn't get them all right, but uh, at least y'all did entertain comments and questions that, uh, for the most part, were just uh, sort of skipped over by the uh, two main candidates that are running. So I salute all of you in the third party. Uh, Gary Johnson, I just want to say that I'm, I'm very pleased to know that we have a candidate like you on the ticket, and I believe that uh, you are the solution for what's going on in America. And I encourage all of you to get out there and vote, particularly you people in Washington, Oregon, and Colorado that are voting on the cannabis issues, even though they are somewhat uh, lenient or lean, should I say, to uh, what we really want, and that's outright legalization. But it is a step in the right direction. But I encourage all of you, please, to get out and vote. And, uh, and please vote for these candidates that do support ending this drug prohibition. And I thank you for joining the Cannabis Corner. <laughs>